So as any of you who are in the business know, there's a certain level of anxiety and stress when you're, you wake up at 3 a.m. and you gotta go battle the storm. And like right when you wake up, you're like, crap, like I really don't wanna do this. This is gonna suck. I know there's gonna be problems. And uh, there's, it's just hectic. But at the end of the day, there is a certain thrill to it. And without that excitement, I, I don't think any of us could really pull this off. Um, so that's just what it is. What we're gonna do now is uh, get all the tractors lined up here and get some sweet pictures. So if any of you guys want some uh, those headshots or in front of your tractor or whatever, kind of flex, that's, uh, I'm doing that too, so. Uh, <laughs> this is the time. This is the time. Before that, uh, and then after that, we're gonna do uh, a quick uh, stake run here. We're gonna bang them out with the with the vengeance. So if you want guys to put on the blue yeah, yeah, we're gonna all wear. There's a bunch of uh, these blue uh, quarter zip things that Riley got me into. So uh, you can either freeze or just throw it over whatever you got. Uh, so we're gonna wear those for the picture. After that, we're gonna do some staking. If any of you guys, other than uh, tractor guys here, want to help, that would be appreciated. But. Uh, if you don't, then I guess you're free to go. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get let's uh, get this uh, grip on and uh, get the tractors lined up. because we just had our pre-season meeting with all the guys and we're actually heading out to start our snow staking so those markers you see in front of the driveways and I'll talk more about that later but we're getting right into the season and the content is coming back so a lot of you guys have been asking for it and uh, we're gonna deliver so a few things we've changed from last year First of all, dropped our shoveling service at our one location in London. It was my biggest headache and the least revenue producing thing. So I had to make the tough call and just say to the customers, hey guys, we don't offer this anymore. Uh, find somebody else. And fortunately, we've lost essentially no customers to it. So very grateful for that. So that's one change. Um, last year we had about, I think it was 1,757 driveways and we have that sold as of this date and it's not even November 1st. So the goal is 2,200 for the season. I'll let you know where we end up. Um, but it, at this point it's looking like we might even surpass that. So that would be great. Um, we were running 13 units last year and we've got 16 right now. Potentially might add another one, see what happens. Um, and that's kind of what's up. Uh, you can expect some more in-depth content with, uh, with some of the guys one-on-one. -on -one. So like Cam will be uh, talking to you some more. It won't just be me. Uh, Riley that is right behind me. I'm sure we'll get some stuff with him. And I'd like to get some more of the driver's perspective, even some shovelers, and just give you a variety that way and see kind of how the whole machine works. Yeah, we should be good. I got her set. Pretty good.
same time. Oh, So I was just reminded of my trusty old homemade trailer here. I used to tow this thing around with a walker mower and uh, every day after school, 3 p.m. to like 8, 9 p.m. cut grass uh, five days a week. And uh, it sucked. I never liked cutting grass, but it's what it took to uh, get things off the ground. So owe a lot to this old setup here. I hope to get on camera. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be uh, with the boys. We're loading up to do some staking. Uh, I expect we'll get about 500 places done today. Only the realists are here. Uh, we got, what, four crews out? Is that right, Yon? Uh, I think so, yeah. Four crews and uh, just the OGs because yeah. everybody else, uh, they don't want to take it. Yeah. So we're at the start of Connor's route. Uh, they're continuing down here. We have driveways all down the street. These three, that one, that one, that one, whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, season's off to a start here. I just like operating machines, so I think it's a great time in the winter to still be able to be on tractors and equipment and not be in the fields because that doesn't work, so. And line them up here. There, that's good. Okay, so we gotta call Matt. Uh, AKA shit cloud and uh, remind him that uh, the numbers on the stakes need to go on the inside. Yo. What's up? I, oh, not much. I just wanted to remind you, I totally forgot about this, but when you're sl slamming them up, uh, try and get the phone numbers towards the inside, like inside of the driveways, because then you can see like both the website and the number if you're driving down. Okay. Uh, don't worry about if you've done any, but just uh, going forward, it's uh, good to keep in mind. Yeah, not a problem. Perfect. And we're just gonna, we're just doing some filming. Uh, where are you boys at right now? We are uh, by Central. By Central. Okay. I don't cool. know what the road's called. We'll find you. <laughs> Alrighty, sounds good. good. Thank you, sir. Yep, we'll see you in a bit. Yep, bye. So as I mentioned earlier, I expect we'll get about 500 properties done today. Oh, here's the boys again. Um, uh, which, uh, like I mentioned, out of a couple thousand is a relatively small dent. Uh, but we do this time of year have four, what is it, four guys essentially every day out doing it. And as the signups roll in, whatever, if we're selling, you know, 30 plus a day, um, obviously we gotta keep up with that. So from now until uh, well, for the next month at least, uh, there's guys going around every day, staking the new signups, straightening up the ones we've already put in, and then throughout the entire snow season, we're actually still touring around because, I mean, when you got this piece of plastic out in nature, obviously it's going to get bent, and people drive over them, drivers hit them, it's a constant, constant upkeep trying to keep these things straight. It's absolutely essential that you have these things looking good. You don't want some nasty old faded markers that are all bent and look like crap. This is your brand and it's gonna speak for itself. So keep those things straight, make sure they're looking nice and uh, it, it speaks volumes. 
So we're back at the shop here. The boys are out staking. They're gonna be at it for a couple hours and then we're all gonna go out for lunch together. Just as a little thank you. We always do that, breakfast after every storm, that kind of thing. But anyways, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I suggest you do that because when the first storm hits here, we are going to put out an insane video and hopefully every significant storm after that. So there's going to be content on the tractors here, going over different modifications we've done, uh, how to run them, training, business model stuff, uh, systems, Folosoft, everything you can think of. We're sharing it all and trying to put value out there. So like I said, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one.